You know, when I think about John Visser, I think about the gift of hospitality. Both he and Linda have taken in students um, that have become their children. Um, they've taken in travelers from around the world into their home. And John is really, although he's been based here in Sioux Center, I think he's been a professor of the world throughout his whole career. I never intended to be a teacher. Um, in fact, when I talked to the guidance counselor in high school about what I would do after high school, he asked me what I might want to do, and I said, I'm not sure. I said, I'm, the only thing I'm sure about is I never want to be a teacher. So, uh, although I didn't plan to be a teacher, I've loved every minute of it, and uh, I think uh, I'm certain that this is uh, God's calling in my life, and uh, this is the kind of thing that uh, I should be doing. And my first memories of Dr. Visser were um, a dedicated, committed, uh, knowledgeable professor. He's fairly well known for being one of the more difficult professors here at Dort uh, as far as course material goes. Uh, for example, I was in his economics and religious beliefs class and uh, one of my friends walked in with this big old uh, Texas Instruments calculator. And they're like, what are, you, what are you doing with that? And he's like, well, it's a Visser test. You can never really be sure, can you? <laughs> I think uh, that's that's what people can come to expect from him. He's, he's a very difficult professor, but he, he makes you learn it in a way that really helps you as a student. Uh, I could go on and on. There's so many things uh, uh, from servant leadership to to understanding that everything that uh, that I get in touch with, everything that uh, that God has given me is is he is He's, uh, he's expecting me to, to use to the best of my abilities. I always remember a smile on his face when he walks into the classroom. He rarely walks in a different person than he was in the last class. And it's pretty incredible to see someone be so consistent and so, so good all the time. Well, I think one thing we can learn from Dr. Visser that he pours his heart and soul into whatever he does. And he's done it for a long time. And I think that's a great lesson we can all take from that no matter what we do. Uh, use our God-given abilities and uh, do the best we can to serve our, uh, the kingdom. Whether it's in being a finance professor or the business world or no matter what you do in life to, to do it to uh, all the glory to God. I think what I've learned from John the most is that excellence is a very worthy goal. He, uh, he works hard, he plays hard, but he does his best in everything he does. And he tackles just about everything. But that was the, the great thing about Dr. Visser, was he could take a very complex, very uh, hard concepts and break them down so that at the end of the semester, at the end of the year, you were more confident and you understood uh, what you did not know when you started the class. And he had a mastery of a, getting everybody to come along and get that uh, through the students. Dr. Visa has had great impact in my life. He's one of like those people I asked to write my resume because he knows me so well. He took so much interest in me as a student and what I did in order to excel. Dr. Visa never really settled for the status quo. Um, he, he always challenged us to reach our full potential as students. And he makes an incredibly positive impact on this school as one of the business department's most prestigious professors and I dare say one of Dort College's uh, best professors as a whole. And probably the thing I remember first is joking with uh, my department members. Uh, we have a, a lot of fun together. It irritates him if he can't fix a piece of his car. It irritates him if he can't understand something in the stock market or finance. And it really irritates him when I catch more fish than he does. So he likes to do the best. This guy swims like a minnow. This guy acts like a real worm. And I don't understand why he supports the hardware store and the bait business so much. Just buy a real worm or a real minnow, Mr. Visser, and you'll be good. I think one of the main and distinct qualities that stand out to me is that uh, number one, he's a very smart man, uh, but number two, he can relate to the students as well. That's not always true with professors. And I think he cares about the students and um, he 
puts a lot of work into what he does, and you can tell in the results. Uh, one of the greatest things with Dr. Visser's class was his experience. Like, he'd been to so many other countries teaching economics and religious education, and his experience, like, he brought that into the classroom. One of the things that not very many people know about Professor Visser is his mentorship. Not just of current students, but when he teaches in China or in Africa or in Russia, he continues on correspondence with one or two people from those classes for many years. I know there are students that have graduated from Dort or from his other programs that he continues discipleship and mentoring relationships with for many years. And he'll have just eternal impact on future generations because of those mentoring relationships. He is not only a good friend and a good role model, he's also a trusted mentor and he gives sound advice and uh, I would trust him with about any information. He will, he will keep it in confidence if I ask him to. And that sort of friendship takes time to develop. That kind of trust is not something you take lightly once, once it's there. If you have a business degree from Dort, that means you passed Visser's Finance. And that's a big deal. He was always rigorous. Um, and I think he'll always be known for bringing a level of excellence to Dort's business program, which was very new when he first came here, actually. Um, he really wants to challenge students, but not to an unreasonable extent. Uh, he, he really just wants us to know as much as we can about the material that he's communicating, and I, I think he's very successful in that. So. Um, I've had a, uh, uh, nothing but uh, the utmost respect and admiration for John, and uh, the impact he's had in my life uh, has been uh, tremendous. And I just, I would like to say thank you to Dr. Visser for his consistent selfless service to the student body and I wish him absolutely nothing but the best as he starts this next chapter of his life. Oh, P.S. Please write a lot of books because I will be reading them. Professor Visser, thank you for your years at Dort College. Thank you for mentoring me and thousands of other students. Thank you for your servant heart and your attitude. God's blessings to you and Linda in your retirement.